Hello, and here we are for round three of the AOR season 15 PC Assist League One, and it takes us to Azerbaijan um, in real, well, in time for the um, real life um, Grand Prix, which of course was at Azerbaijan this week. It's something AOR are doing differently this season, and yeah, I mean, it's quite a good track for me. Um, last season I got P3, but that was because I had two very fast Dutchmen um, in my league at the time, um, and otherwise I probably could have contested for the win. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's quite a strong track for me. Um, unlike Monaco, you can see running slightly right there. Um, I was actually I did a banker lap, which is good enough to put me P10, which is quite good um, considering the, um, the caliber of field in this league. Um, but there were actually a few people who unfortunately couldn't attend, so it was going to be slightly easier for me to get points than last round at China. Um, however, China is definitely my favourite track, so um, I still knew I had my work cut out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I had some really good parts of this lap um, where I gained a few tenths of my. Um, Old um, or, or my um, banquet lap, which wasn't bad by any means. It, I mean, it was still much better than that. Well, well, I was actually managing to do in practice um, a 147, uh, 141.7, which is only actually three tenths off of what Sebastian Vettel did in the real life pole. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I had some really good parts of the lap and also some parts of the lap which weren't as good as my banquet lap. Um, but you can see I'm still quite a bit up, and yeah, this is just a really good lap in general. Um, but still, you, you see. Um, I'm still only in P10, but you see a few tenths up now, and um, we're going to see if we we well, actually as we fall down to P11. But we're going to see if this is good enough to back us a spot in the top 10 as our teammate goes pole once again. So after winning last race, um, my teammate showing that he's probably one of the fastest guys in this league. Meanwhile, on the long run to the line, we're going to get what will be a slightly faster lap time, but only about a tenth faster, and that's actually going to keep us P11. But once again, out qualifying Jaeger by um, two ten, uh, by six tenths actually, which is quite a lot. Um, Lama Lama as well getting ninth place. So again, us three THL boys struggling um, for um, position. But yeah, I mean Lama again being the best of qualifiers. So let's see if he can actually convert it into a good race so far. Of course, he hasn't actually survived a lap in either of the races. So here we are now, five red lights for round three, and away we go. So it's actually a really good start for us. We already got positions. We're going to get Lama as well. Two people off the start. And you see, Holby in front of us has just braked, and yeah, he broke way too early. And he's now taking Jaeger out on the side, so I don't know what's going on there, but that's completely ruined our strategy. Because, of course, with that level of damage, we're going to have to pit this lap, um, because otherwise we're just going to be losing heaps of time, especially on the street circuit. Meanwhile, you see Vizic just goes right. We're going to take the position from him, but I don't know what happened there. It looked like Omar and somebody else was sort of um, closing, well, they were sort of um, moving into each other, and then, yeah, I think just Horvey was caught in the middle, had to back out of it, but broke way too early, in my opinion, and yeah, just sort of ruined a few people's races as a result, and I think Omar's also spun. So, you can see now it's the end of that one, we're going to peel into the pits, um, we've actually got a train behind us, just sort of shows the carnage in that one, so I think it all really stemmed from that incident, as we get a bit of lag, we nearly lose position to Vincitius there, and get a bit more lag, and Vincitius is now ahead of us, so, um, yeah, we thought lag was a thing of the past, but that's the first time I've really seen it on the new PC, but... Um, I don't think it was that big a deal, and I didn't actually get it throughout the race, so there's no point dwelling on it. But you can see now, changing the front wing, um, it's quite a long pit stop indeed, um, as we're waiting to be released. And you can see Horby actually just comes on, on the pit box ahead of us, so he's actually lost even more time. But you can see he's been held by Menk and um, Vincitius, so that really hasn't helped us our cause at all. But yeah, I mean, we're definitely looking at maybe a top six, top seven, if we didn't get involved in the collision, because you can just see the two different trains. Um, the top eight well ahead of the rest of the field so right now we're just in a battle for ninth and you can see Omar's actually got us up the inside on fresher tyres as Kueki's now into the pits on lap five so that was really early to come into the pit so I don't know if there was something wrong with him so um, as you can see as we skip on to the end of the lap um, well yeah we're just sort of keeping with Omar who's actually um, well, we, well you can see there's somebody peeling off into the pit so I don't know who that is and it's um, it's actually Menk so um, his tyres already actually um Going past the seal by there, you can see Horvy now. It's going to take us round the outside, and I was going really defensive against him because yes, he's on the super sauce, and normally I'd let somebody through if they're on a different strategy. But I was very angry after the um, incident at the start, and of course I didn't know the full story at the time. And from, or from my screen, it just looked like Horvy had just blatantly braked early, so I was not too clean to let him pass at all, and doing quite um, good defensive move in my opinion there, managing to protect um, the position. But you can see actually keeping up with. Omar and what will be Vincitius and you can see Edge has spun round in the notorious castle section so it's a good job he's actually ghosted and otherwise we would have gone straight into him. Meanwhile Vincitius is sort of going all over the place as we're going to get a good run on Omar 
um, actually getting the DRS on him. So after he overtook us, he hasn't actually been able to pull away. He goes very defensive, um, and he actually pulls into the pits. So I don't know what's really going on there. He must might have got a bit of damage from a collision or something. But yeah, it releases us into what will be P8. So this is actually much better than what we could have hoped for, considering at the beginning of the Grand Prix, we completely lost our wing. And yeah, we're going to the end of the race. So not everyone has actually made their final pit stop yet. And yeah, we're going to try to stretch these mediums for the full 25 laps um, after lap one. So um, yeah, if it all goes well, we can actually get top five at this rate. Um, even so you can see Vincic is actually struggling ahead of us as we still defend from Horvy. Um, you see he's actually still pressuring us to so go into the next corner. Um, you can see Horvy behind has actually gone into the wall. And there's actually a yellow flag of where he's um, crashed. So he's lost a bit more of his end plate. So he won't be pressuring us too much. And that's suspicious in the wall. So, yeah, it's seeming to be a race of attrition right now. Lots of people actually get going out of the race due to um, issues and stuff. And you can see Lama now um, is going to be in sixth place after he pits. So Lama doing very well. But I'm surprised to be within seven, eight seconds of him considering the incident in the start. Um, and he had a really good start. And he, was, he wasn't involved in anything. So... Yeah, it was looking like he could finally actually convert a good result into um, a top 10 finish. Um, but yeah, meanwhile, we get a bit of damage on the front wing, which isn't good considering what the fastest guy in the field, our teammate behind us, he's bearing down on us. I mean, it was 19 seconds, but he's gaining about two seconds a lap because, um, of course, he's on fresher tyres. We were already on really used um, 15 lap own mediums. Um, but yeah, of course, he's on fresher tyres and he's just the faster guy in general. And you can see actually we got Vortex who actually came out behind us when he pitted. So we actually released him to what will be P6. And you can see Llama's in the pits. So I don't know what's happened to him. I think he's got more damage. So just when it was looking like he could have a good race, unfortunately, um, Lady Luck strikes him again. And um, yeah, he's going to slip down the order. But meanwhile, we're in a mad P5 right now. And if, if you told me I was going to be P5, which is my best position by far, um, considering I've, I haven't got any pit stops to make, um, this late in the game, um, after the incident in lap one, then I would have wouldn't have believed you at all. I mean, yes, we were P2 in China, but um, on strategy we weren't really P2 at that point. But you we were defending from Vortex because if I can hold him up now, I mean, towards the end of the race, his tyres will be quite bad. But we he's going to go up the inside. He's going to squeeze us quite wide. Um, I'm going to try to hang it around the outside, but in the end, it's to no avail. And by the end of the lap, he's already dropped me by two seconds, so um, not really good over there. And we can see we're actually beginning to up the pace because behind us we've got our teammate and with five laps to go he's within two seconds of us and he's actually bringing um, I think Omo with him as well so those two of course getting podiums last time out in China so I've got really two very fast people behind me if you want to hang on to sixth or maybe even seventh at this rate meanwhile you can see Kawaki is behind us and we're just going to let him go he's got the faster pace and yeah I couldn't hold him up for um, five laps and he's my teammate anyway so um, I don't think that's really fair because considering he's the faster guy and yeah I just didn't want to battle because right now I just want to keep P7 from Oma, um, who's actually having quite a good comeback drive right now. Um, of course, he's on fresh mediums. We saw him pits on lap six, and um, he's only a few seconds behind us, and he's the faster driver. So I've got my work cut out if I want to keep P7, but um, as long as I play it defensive, um, I should be fine. But of course, I was, only, I was really worrying about the fact that if he gets within a second of us, especially with our front ring damage, he'll be able to get a good run down the um, start-finish straight, and it's such a long straight. I mean... You could easily overtake there. And you can head on to the final lap. He's right behind us. So um, just playing it cool. Actually parking the car in the middle of the track. A bit like what we did with um, Watmaster in actually um, the last race of the F1 THL season. But yeah, we're just going to go on board for the whole lap. Because this was a very, um, it was quite a good last lap. Um, you see going defensive on most of the corners. Um, yeah, just trying to keep the line. Um, not trying to compromise our run, but also trying to keep him behind. Um, of course, we don't want to get let him get ahead. Um, because he's got, he's got the faster tyres and the faster pace. So you can see actually that's um, Entity who wins. So uh, getting the second win of the season. So it looks like him and Kweki are trading blows. But yeah, Kweki once again look like lots, looks like he's not going to get the best result. Meanwhile again we're going defensive even to this corner. Um, of course just not really trying to lose the position. Um, just hoping that my straight line speed setup could sort of hold me to the line. Um, if, if it did come to that, but you can see, just trying to get the best runs out of all, each of the corners, and again, um, on 25 lap old tyres, just pushing them to the absolute limit, and uh, you can see actually Omar backs out of the move, so he's definitely waiting to the final straight, so, um, yeah, now I just knew I had to get the best exit possible out of the final straight if I wanted to hold him up, um, you can see still he's in my wing mirrors, and yeah, I mean, I've got a good chance of getting P7, looks like I've finally broken the taboo um, of getting P10 all the time, 
um, from P11 on the grid. But will I be able to own on to P7? It's going to be close as we go through the last few corners. We're actually going to clip the apex. And you can see actually Omar's got a beast run. And he's actually going to pull alongside us. And it, oh, he's already ahead of us onto the straight. And he's probably going to get the DRS as well. So he's going to go side by side. Oh, and he's just slightly pulled away ahead of us. But you can see we're coming back a bit under the straight line speed setup. But um, yeah, just he was able to hold it to the line. And there, that was sort of heartbreak. Um, just like China, we've lost P7 on the line. Um, yeah, once again, a really good drive from me in my, um, well, I think, um, considering I had hardly any practice. The fact that I outperformed um, both Jaeger and Lama, um, I'm really proud of. So, you can see S Entity actually um, takes the lead of the, um, the championship standings by 15 points. Quirky and Stephanator actually tied for P2. Haifu Bonbon -Bon moves up to P P4 after a really good result for both Red Bull guys this time out. I'm down in P11 um, after getting a few points, but I could have probably been closer to Padak, so um, in P10. Um, having a look at the constructors, we slipped to P3, but it's quite a solid P3 because the Mercedes didn't have a really good race. Um, Toro Rosso um, are P6, and you can see Red Bull are pulling away up front. Um, so look, having a look at the results, you can see Entity wins from Stephanator from Haifu Bonbon. -Bon. Um, Padso Pad, um, getting quite a good result as well. Vortex once again showing his consistency, and of course we're getting our us getting our best result of the season, which is quite good. Horvey actually recovering to P10 in the end. But yeah, that's going to be it. See you next time.